In this video, we're going to create a message icon that's animated to show that a new message is incoming, that a new notification uh, just arrived. This is useful for when you have a design where there's a message function, you maybe want to show what it looks like when a new message arrives. Also, two quick reminders. If you want to get the source files for this, check the link in the description below. And if you're new to Figma and you want to kind of cover the very basics and learn from the ground up, I have a playlist called Figma Basics where I teach Figma for absolute beginners, starting at a profound question, what is Figma? And continuing on to the Figma interface, shapes, all the way to creating your first prototype. All right, first, let us actually define the constraints of an icon. So it's useful to have a frame or uh, we'll define a maximum size of the element. We're gonna name this frame message, new message animated icon. And we're gonna use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle with a stroke, remove the fill. And the stroke will be centered along the path. It will have two pixels centered against the frame and also about this big. We're gonna round the corners a bit, make it softer. And then we're gonna take the path tool, the pen tool and create small tiny arrow like this that will become the fold of the, of the envelope basically. Very simple, we're gonna round this. So whatever looks good for you. Okay, so we have this cute little envelope that could show that this is a message. And now we want to be, we want to define the final state, which is when there is the actual notification, the tiny red circle about this big. We're gonna maybe add a shadow, a red shadow. That's gonna be quite subtle. This is too strong to make it look nice. All right, now what we wanna do is turn this into a component. So I'm gonna select all of this and press this little icon on the top right here. And if you want to learn more about components and variants, check this video on the screen right now and in the description below. So this is gonna be, we're gonna actually remove that outside our frame. We're gonna name this component animated message. And now we will set all of these to center. Center, so that when we now do this, icon's gonna move and not gonna be scaled up or down. We're gonna position this within the frame so that it's approximately in the middle, which is now in the middle perfectly, so that's, that's awesome. And this icon, this icon component is gonna have two variants, or actually is gonna have three variants. So we're gonna create a new variant and then another one. So three variants. <clears throat> so the idea here is that you will have like a state where no, there is no new message, there is just an icon, then a state where it's slightly bigger than, you know, it kind of pops so that it's noticeable and then it decreases back in size and being completely, the, the animation being completely finished. So let's say that this is gonna increase this in-between state is gonna increase this envelope size all the way to the edges, including this circle. And um, so we're gonna to have to kind of experiment with the specific position and sizes of the envelope. When creating an animated icon through smart animation, you wanna make sure that these names are the identical across all the variants. So in each of these variants, the red dot, the red circle is called ellipse one or any other name. Let's say we're gonna select all of these, press command R and then say, we're gonna rename this to red dot, right? And you really wanna make sure that all of these names are similar or identical actually, because that's how Figma knows that when you're animating, uh, it kind of understands this as being a singular object kind of spread across many variants and therefore it can, it can increase in size and its properties can uh, change. So that's crucial if you want to create good looking animation. Right, and in this state, the red circle, the red dot is gonna be very tiny. It's gonna be like this big and it, its opacity is set to, z will be set to zero, right? Um, so there's actually no dot visible. It's gonna appear from nowhere kind of and also we're gonna take some time to rename these layers and make sure sure it's understandable across all variants so vector one 
that doesn't really say anything. We're gonna rename this to envelope fold or just fold, right? And also rectangle one is gonna be called envelope outline or just envelope. Let's call this envelope. And we're gonna have the states are gonna be called default and then pop, then new message, right? We also want to change the color of this stroke of this envelope and default to being gray. Okay, so the whole point of these changing colors being that this is not noticeable, but it's still there, but this is way more noticeable and more contrasting. The purpose is to alert the user that, hey, something, something's happening, right? And we're gonna take this frame and then do like 200, 200 by 140, and then go to assets and place the animated message icon here. This is what it looks on a white background. I think that's you know just your regular, ordinary message icon. Whereas if you go to new message, you know, this is really catches your attention way more than the default state. Okay, we're gonna now go to prototype. We're gonna actually create the animation. I'm gonna go to this little circle on the right edge of the default state and drag it over here. It's that's saying like from this state it's gonna go to here. And then from this one, this state, it's gonna go to here. Now we have to define under which circumstances this happens. So this is not gonna be on click. Um, that's not the way you know, it usually happens. Uh, usually you do nothing and then a new message appears. So we're gonna say after delay, and the delay is gonna be like three seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. And it's gonna change to property one, pop, and it's gonna smart animate with ease in and out and it's gonna take 100 milliseconds. So it's gonna be pretty fast or maybe 170. And then from this, again, after delay, so we wanna, this base to happen basically instantly. So after delay, one millisecond, so that's instant. Change to property one, new message, and it's gonna be smart animate as well. And this is gonna be really fast. So let's say 60 milliseconds and it's gonna be ease in and out. So what should happen now is after three seconds, it's gonna to change to this state and immediately go to the new message state. And we're gonna now test our result. So we're gonna click on this frame and then go here and launch the prototype. Awesome. So this is the final result. So nothing happens for three seconds. And boom, new message. So what could be improved here in my opinion is to position the red dot a bit outside the frame. That would make it look better, I think, and also slow down the animations a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna turn this into 250 milliseconds and this one to 120. And also the red dot is gonna be moved outside. So it's, it looks as if it's outside the frame, but it's still, you know, logically within the frame, it's just overlaps and we allow the overlapping areas to be visible. Otherwise, if we click this, the overlapping areas would be hidden. That's not the case now, which is what we want. Uh, maybe we even want to make this really, really big. It has a visual punch sorts. Let's test it again. All right, so this is better. So you can see that the envelope is increasing in size and also the circle as well. And that's because we chose Smart Animate and, that, and because we kept the naming consistent across all of these variants. The great thing about this is now you have a component and whenever you place this component, it's gonna behave the same way. So we're gonna, maybe for some reason, you wanna have like two inboxes and uh, if you, you know, play this prototype, then it's gonna behave completely the same. We could also set up an interaction or just an animation where it reverts back to this original state. After additional three seconds, it's gonna revert back with smart animation. And it's gonna be this looping message, new message notification that's gonna uh, revert back and then back and forth. So a new message waits a little bit and back and keeps on going forever. So this is really useful when you want to, for example, place an element that's being animated within a prototype, you know, something that 
for example, keeps on spinning, like my video on a loading animation in Figma. You can check that out if you want. It's on the screen right now. So again, if you'd like to get the source file, click the link in the description below. Make sure to check out the Figma Basics series if you're new to Figma and want to learn starting from the very basics. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.